So in 2010, we have 4121, and in 2050, we have 5231, and the model is this. And they're only asking us to find the model. So what do I do? Yes. So, and also we are told 2010 represents t equals 0. So this is a point, and this is another point. Can you tell me what points are these? Zero, yes, good. And the other one, 40. I cannot put a name of the year. So t 2010 represents zero. Zero, 41, 21, and 40, 52, 31. Okay, now I want to use this point to create two equations. And then this point to get the other one. So the first equation from coming from this point and the second equation coming from this point. So how do I do that? So a of 0, you mean? Zero. Yes. So this means a of 0 equals this. Right. Good. So how do I write the equation directly? What is a of 0 then? It's 4,121 equals a0 times e to which power? k times? 0. Correct. Same thing for the other ordered pair. What do I write now? Exactly. Equals a0 e to k times? 40. Exactly. Perfect. That's all I need. How much is k times 0? 0. How much is e to 0? Zero? 0. Careful. One. 1. So e to 0 is 1, so then a0 is this. a0 is 4121. Four, one, four, one, one. Now I put it in the second equation. 5231 equals 4121 e to 40 k. How do I solve this, and what type of equation is it? So I determine the original amount, and now I need to determine the growth rate, k. You, need to, you divide it by 4. I have to, absolutely. And now what do I do next? Since I cannot present these two with the same base, what is my only chance now? Exactly. You can apply LOG to both sides. You'll get the same answer. But it's, it's better to apply nat natural log because I see this base E and log natural log base E. Natural log E will be 1. That's why we prefer natural log. Natural log 5, 2, 3, 1, 4, 1, 2, 1 equals 40K. Therefore, K equals... Natural log 5, 2, 3, 1, 4, 1, 2, 1, over 40. So let's do that. So natural log. Um, 5, 2, 3, 1. Divided by 4121, and then divide everything by 40. And we have to use six, uh, four decimal digits. So in this case, k is approximately 0 0.0060. So now I can write the entire model. Did we get that? Yeah. So now the model is this, clearly. a of t equals. 4121e to point zero zero six zero t That's all they wanted us to find. They're asking us to find the model. Okay, Caesar, you have something? You mean uh, finding the derivatives and stuff? 
Yeah, so uh, for example, let's say f of x equals hyperbolic cosine of hyperbolic tangent of 3x squared minus 2. And we want to find f prime. Very good. So hyperbolic cosine is not negative like a regular trig, but just yes, of hyperbolic tangent 3x squared minus 2 multiplied by the inner function prime, which is second hyperbolic secant squared 3x squared minus 2 times the inner function prime, which is 6x. So this is just the chain rule. Weren't there some Um, yes, that was an angle that was, uh, we were asked to determine an angle. But I don't, I think, uh, I don't remember the problem, but I, I do remember what you're saying. Um, I don't remember the function in that problem. No, we did not show um, we only summarized the, um, the sine, cosine, and tangent. Yeah. Uh, we did prove them. We did prove the uh, sine uh, prime, cosine prime, one of the two, because of e to the x plus or minus e to negative x over 2. Yeah. Okay, next question. Wendy? 15. Okay, so we have 2x minus y less than 6, and we have x squared plus y squared less than or equal to 9. So the first one is 2x minus y equals 6. When x is 0, how much is y? Very good. 0, negative 6. And when y is 0, bless you, x is? Very good. So 3, comma 0. So I have to plot these points and make sure that I graph a solid or not. Do I graph a solid or not? The first line. So 0, negative 6, and 0, 3. Very good. So this is 2x minus y equals 6. I check the top one with 0, 0. So 0, 0. 0 less than 6. True or false? True. True. I agree. So then all this is 2x minus y less than 6. Then the next one, x squared plus y squared equals 9. 
What is that? Center. Yes, center. Center is, is zero, zero. Correct. Radius? Three. Yes. So one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Solid or not? Solid. Yes. I agree. I check the inside with zero, zero. Zero, zero less than or equal to nine. True or false? True. So the inside is x squared plus y squared less than or equal to nine. But now I need both regions at the same time. And it's everything on the curve and everything in between except points on this line because they are not solid. So this is both the inside of the circle except that area to the right. Next question. Ready? Yes. Sign here. Oh, what did I do here? Because before. Yes, yes, of it. course. It has to be signed because yeah. that's how that it goes to, to one. one. Yeah. Oh, I swallow the sign. Okay. I was hungry. <laughs> sign is so tasty. Sorry about that. Of course. It looked nicer without sign. No, I no, I don't know. Okay. Next question. Next question once. Yes? Yes? Like this? Uh, no. Very good. So I forgot is is theta here or here? No, theta is at the pole of the line. Okay, so okay. So we are going to determine this first and then subtract it from pi over two. So, so y prime equals 20 hyperbolic sine x over 20 times 1 over 20. That simplifies with this, is the inner function prime. So this is hyperbolic sine x divided by 20. So that's the slope of that line right there. So that's the slope of this line. Okay. So m equals y prime equals hyperbolic sine x over 20. Was it sine or was, was, was it hyperbolic sine? It was hyperbolic. Uh, it was about cosine. Yeah, well, and then we differentiated then, uh, just to make sure, it was hyperbolic and cosine. Yeah. Okay. So we determine the derivative. So this is the same with this. Right. So the angle, this was, uh, was the, this one denoted by theta? Was this the theta angle? Yeah. Okay. So in that case, um, this angle, tangent, I'm going to call it alpha. Tangent alpha is the same with hyperbolic sine x divided by 20. Is our test Monday or Tuesday? Or oh, Wednesday. Okay. No class Monday or Tuesday? So all next week is all final exams week. So we, we don't... Oh, you won't be there. Okay, so... No, no I, I have meetings to start at 1 o'clock and end at 6 p.m. Sure. Wednesdays are fine. Wednesdays are awesome. fine. Awesome. awesome. Okay. So all I'm going to do is... 
redo the tests and that kind of thing. Yes, please. And the solutions are posted. So I will be here starting from 130, 130-ish, something like that. So you can come in anytime. OK. I assume that we have to plug in X, right? Which is this will be set. So what, uh, say it again. I couldn't hear you. I think our next. So the question, let me, let me see again what was the question here. What? So you said 263, let me. 263. Okay. See you too. Okay, it's up on uh, line hangs between two poles 14 meters apart. Okay. Okay, so I, I forgot about the 14 meters. Now I see. So now we have to plug in 7. Okay, so so tangent alpha equals hyperbolic sine 7 divided by 20. So I have to determine this number. So this is one way. If you don't have it in the calculator, I don't know if I have it in the uh, software. But it's the same thing with e to 7 over 20 minus e to negative 7 over 20 divided by 2. So you can either plug it in like that or find that number somehow. If you have hyperbolic sign in your calculator, uh, just plug in 7 over 20. And tell me what you get. If not, I will plug it in here like that. Because, uh, again, I don't want to waste your time. We probably do. Do we? So sine h of 7 over 20? Yes. Where did you find hyperbolic? You go to the catalog and then search. Oh, OK. It's catalog is 0. Catalog is 0. Yeah, second and uh, where is S? Alpha S. Okay, what is the calendar? Sorry. So second and zero. Oh. Okay. Oh, forget it. It's point three five seven one or three five seven two. So let me see what I get if I get the same thing. I should. So this is seven divided by twenty. And then minus. E raised to negative 7 divided by 20. Close the parenthesis for the top, and then divide everything by 2. So I got 0.3571? Yes, that's right. OK. 0.35718. So now I need to um, determine this by second, second and tangent inverse from the previous answer. And I got uh, 34.30 in radians. But if you want to change it into um, degrees, to give the answer in degrees, you can. So, um, or just change this. Why is it for tangent? Because I have tangent alpha. I want to determine alpha, right? I have to apply arc tangent to both sides. Okay. Yeah. So then I have tangent. Inverse of oops, point three five seven one eight nine. That's good enough, and that will change it into degrees. So if it's roughly twenty degrees, if this angle alpha is approximately twenty degrees, our tangent, our theta must be seventy degrees, roughly. Yes, because the slope does not give us that. The slope gives us this angle. So we determined alpha to be 20 degrees, and then the other angle, is it's a complementary angle. It has to be subtracted from 90. So here, tangent inverse um, of 0.35718 equals roughly 20 degrees. Good. One more. 12.30. Wendy? 12.30? Yes. Please choose. 
Just number 16. Okay. In 16, we have a n equals negative 1 to the nth power n plus 2 over n plus 1. So for a1, I have negative 1 to the first power times 3 over 2, and it's just negative 3 halves. a2, negative 1 to the second power times 4 over 3, so this is 4 thirds. And a3, negative 1 to the third power times 5 fourths, so this is negative 5 fourths. And for the last one, negative 1 to the fourth times 6 fifths, it's just 6 fifths.